Police have arrested a man accused of brutally raping a woman after she refused money for sexual favors. Good evening, I'm Calvin Snead. I'm Kim Chapman. The witness told police the rape happened outside on Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard Sunday night. News Channel 9's Hannah Lawrence joins us now live with the story. Hannah. Well, Kim and Calvin, I'm here on Gateway Avenue that's just off Martin Luther King Boulevard. And if you take a look behind me, you can see the pavilion with a few picnic tables under it. And police say it's near that gazebo where the rape happened before 9 p.m. on Sunday night. This is where police responded to a call from a woman Sunday night who says she'd been raped. Our cameras captured the area where police say it happened from the city street. There is a fence sort of around the back part of it, but yeah, it is an open area. The woman told officers she'd been threatened with a knife as she was aggressively raped while in a chokehold. You could definitely tell that she had she had been involved in something like that. According to an arrest affidavit, police found the woman with bloody lips and bruises covering her neck. Tonight, police have arrested Richard Withero and charged him in the case. Officers in that area were, um, so a few of them were familiar with him, um, and once they were notified that warrants were on file, they were able to locate him. Police say Withrow met the woman at Miller Park and walked to this gazebo to drink and smoke cigarettes. It's on private property. It's um, a gazebo area, probably um, somewhere for the clients or employees of that facility to use. She told police Withrow threatened her after she refused money for sexual favors. She says she then complied with his request for her to take her clothes off out of fear for her life. A lot of times when someone is involved in a trauma, you've got fight, flight, but you've got fight, flight, or freeze and often a woman is just in shock of what is happening and she just freezes, that's her reaction. Witherow is no stranger to police. He went before a judge on charges of domestic violence and possession of crack cocaine years ago. His first court date on his new charges is July 14th. He's in jail tonight on a bond of $1 million. Reporting live in Chattanooga, Hannah Lawrence, News Channel 9. Hannah, thank you. The AIM Center released a statement saying it was not open at the time and what happened did not involve any patients or staff members.